Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is the extension of the previous video that is part 2 of adding headers and navigation bars with bootstrap. In this video we are just going to see some of the leftover components of navbar. So we are again going to head over to the component section of get bootstrap and we are going to the navbar section. So we had implemented this in our previous video I would like to show you first of all how to add a drop down as you can see in the codes this is how a drop down is added so what I'm going to do is going to copy this and paste it in my code has a list item I'm going to save this and when I refresh I will find a drop down here you will notice that there is a gap here next to the navbar brand if we want not to have this gap we can remove this and for that all we have to do is convert this container into container fluid and when we save and hit refresh we will see that the navbar brand has been shifted completely towards its left without any gap ok for your information this drop down needs javascript as well as jquery if you remove the javascript or the jquery from your html code then the drop down will not work ok so one of the primary reason of using bootstrap is because of its responsiveness let's see what happens to this navigation bar when we decrease the size of the screen see this is the same nav bar that we were looking at all along until now we had multiple links, drop downs as well as form elements but now as we have entered into the smaller device screen size the entire elements of navbar have been hidden and put inside this button which is known as the hamburger menu as you can see all the links that were already earlier present in the navbar are now inside this hamburger menu now this is a very impressive feature of bootstrap that makes life easier on small screen sizes and thus creating responsive web pages ok let's implement this in our code now as you can see this is the part that we directly used in our code and we didn't use this part previously also in here you see a div tag with the class collapse navbar collapse so what happens when we use this class is that anything within this div tag will be gone when we reduce the web page to a certain level or when we use devices with small screen size and this part makes sure that we see that particular hamburger icon so what I'm going to do to implement this in my code is first of all I'm going to place all my links within a div tag with the class is equal to collapse navbar collapse and I'm going to give an ID to this div tag as my links I will close the div tag up down here I will save this and I will now hit refresh on my index.html we will not see a change but when we will scale this down to a smaller screen size we will see that all the links have disappeared now we need to make sure that these links that have disappeared on bringing the screen to smaller size can be accessed using the hamburger button so first of all to do that we will place our navbar brand within a div tag div class is equal to navbar header 
and we will close the div tag below the anchor tag now we need to place this button into the dev tag above the navbar brand we will now edit our data target and rename as my links we need to make it the data target should be my links which is the id of the collapsible region that is this div tag which will be hidden when we decrease the screen size so now when the screen size decreases we will see a hamburger button and that will target us to this div tag now i will save my work and let us examine our web page now i have hit refresh and now when i decrease the screen size i can see the hamburger menu now and when i click on it i will see all my links including the drop down menu so this is how bootstrap helps us to make our pages responsive if you have any queries comments or questions put them in the comment section below and i will come back with more topics on bootstrap in the next video